Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Baldur's Gate. Last episode, we made our way over to this mine here. Got through the, uh, the bandits that were protecting this place, and one of them told us that, well, the entrance to the mine was in the bailey over here. Well, we found our way to the entrance to the mine. I don't know how to uncover this part of the map. Now, let's actually go in and see about clearing it out. All right, all right. Right then. If you insist. I hate them flaming fist pansies. You're those bastards who've been taking down our mining ops. Well, you've come to the wrong place, kiddos. I'm one mean son of a bitch, and I'm gonna give you a world of hurt. My I mean, you can try. And now you're dead. Truly, you are highly skilled. Alright. Come on, come on. Stop getting stuck. Favor. Guards! Guards! Anderson speaking ill of Davorn! Wait, you're no guards. Ah! Guards! Guards! <laughs> Is he now? Get me out of this hellhole. There are two reasons I've pounded this pick against these rocks. Do you wish to hear them? Yes, I would. First, because I imagine this rock to be my captor's skull. Second, because the meager spark that leaps from my attempt is all the light I'll ever know again. If you'll be a new slave like I once was, you shall learn these simple truths soon enough. I mean, honestly, I'd rather s free you. But of course, the miners here are all slaves. Get me out of this hellhole. Help us, please. Free us. Listen, I'm working on it. You have a way out. Take it. So I kicked him in the head till he was dead. <laughs> so who are you guys? You here to buy some iron or something? You know, while you while you're here, maybe you should give me some advice. My wife's been complaining lately, mostly about our late night life. You see, with all the stress and trouble lately, it's taken a little starch out of my maypole, if you get my meaning. Why in the nine hells are you asking us such a question? Hey, wait a second. I recognize a bunch of you now. You're the guys who've been causing all the trouble lately. Surrender right now! It's six against one. I didn't even have a chance. Save me, dear sir. Please, save me. If you set me free, sir, I can tell you how to bring this mine crashing down around the heads of these fat-headed slavers. We'll set you free. Now tell us what you know. Well, see, here's how it is. The way to bamboozle these ninnies is real easy. Right here beside me is a steel plug that stoppers up the river on the surface. If you were to release that, then this whole mine would be drowned. Only the master of the mine has the key to open the plug, and he's a real mean cuss. If you were to bring the key to me, I could use it to flood the mine. How do you know how to operate this key? There's a dwarf on the second level of the mine. His name's Yeslik, and he's the last surviving dwarf of the clan that used to live here. Under threat of death, he designed the plug for the master of the mine. I talked with him last time I was in the cells for bad behavior. Okay, we'll try to find this key. Good. If you haven't already been down to the lower levels, try to find a man named Rill. He's a good friend of mine, and should be able to come up with a plan on how to get all of the slaves to safety. I'll see you later then, and try not to get killed. An enslaved miner has told us that there's a way to destroy the Iron Throne mine in the Cloakwood. A steel plug blocks the flow of an underground river. If the plug were released, the water would flood the entire mine. Only the master of the mine has the key to the plug. Get me out of this hellhole. I have a way to disable the Cloakwood mine. I must remove the plug that prevents water from pouring in and thus flooding the mine. Removing the plug will be no small feat, however, as it is magically sealed. I should search the mine for whomever created that seal. Well, fortunately, we know how to deal with it. Alright, three paths to the south. Let's take this one. Tipian. What's going on? You're not our captors. No, we're not. Make your way to the surface and flee while there's still time. We'll take care of the remaining guards down here. I thank 
Thank you, stranger. With every ounce of strength that is left in me, I haven't seen the light of day for well nigh a year. This is the way to the entrance. This is a dead end. So it's another bunch of loser mercenaries. Well, I'm not impressed. I've had it with working for you and your Iron Throne overlords. Come on, take your best shot. I don't care about my life anymore. I think you've mistaken our identities. We don't serve the Iron Throne. We plan to take it down. Maybe you can help us? You think I'm stupid? Why don't you go shag some sheep? I don't need to hear any more of your wild stories. Get me out of this hell hole. I can take Trissett with both my arms tied behind you my there. back. You there! You're not supposed to be in this area. Surrender yourselves now. We don't think so. They wish as well as I can. All right. Kill the guard, and he's dead. Man, these guards have no strength to them whatsoever. I think all our exploring in other areas has just made us really powerful in this case. Get me out of this hellhole. Look, I'm working on it, okay? Every so often, I find a miner who's willing to say something. Okay, that one's a dead end. It's about in this direction. Another guard. Oh, this one's not even willing to talk to us. And so dead, he exploded. More miners, of course. Get me out of You don't look like any mine guard I've seen. You knew bigwig mercenaries for Davorn? Actually, we're adventurers. We're here to free all of you from ser your servitude to the Iron Throne. Tell us where we can find the Master of the Mine. Hey, that's good news. If you want to find Davorn, you're best, you're best to look on the fourth level. It's a secret level, I think, so it won't be easy to find. A miner told us that the leader of the mine lives on the fourth level. There's four levels to this place? Holy crap. Get me out of this hellhole. Well, let's keep looking. We will explore every level. We're working on it. Phasis. Psst. There's a there be a plug somewhere that seals this mine from the river's torrent. Find it, and maybe you can render this hell no more than a watery memory of its former self. Hmm. What? It, where is this plug you speak of? I know not. Only that Dave Vorn is said to have the key upon his person at all times. And while yes, the mine would be useful, at least getting rid of it would put an end to the Iron Throne, which... It's our goal anyway. Ah. Well, found the pathway down. Still one passage we haven't explored. So let's see what's down this last passage. Canticle. Out of this hell hole. Hmm. Save me. I was a bard sir. once. Please I knew every song that me. ever was, and I could sing them all so beautifully. But now my throat's been choked by dust, and my lungs have withered in this chilly air. A thousand curses on Davorn and whatever man it was that hired him. Get me out of this hell hole. Another guard. Again, not willing to talk. <laughs> Guard is dead. Anything else up here? Just a couple miners. This one? Nothing of note. Alright. What about down in this pathway? Another guard who will die very quickly. Yeah. 
And down he goes. Nothing from that one. Get me out of this. From that one. And down this passageway. Get me out of this. Another random miner. Nothing of note to say. Another miner here. Uh, uh, hello. I, I'm so cold. I think I have some sort of disease. My legs hurt so much, and my chest feels like it's going to explode. I'm useless. Please put me out of my misery, please. We're not killers. Sorry. And kill the guard. Thank you, guard is dead. Really didn't need to cast a spell on that. Get me out of this hell hole. And that Get appears to be the end of, of these miners. Hole. And this particular section of the mine. Time to go to the next section. The next level. At least we know we have to come back up here in order to flood the mine. Everyone come down so we can go to the next level. Sit over here. And let's do a quick save. Alright, down we go. Once again, another guard who's going to die. Oh, there was a second guard. Did he not notice? And that one's locked. That code? Can you unlock it, I wonder? I'm gone. You can. Your wish? All right, all right. Help us. Please, Please, I don't want any trouble. If you leave me alone, I promise I'll be good. So this is where all the slaves were held. Help us, please. Help us, please. Well, they can get out if they wish it. Another right. guard to kill. Two guards to kill. Nice and easily slain. Helm. You take those arrows. Give me Hurry up. What would you have? Very well. Hmm. Here we have absolutely nothing. Does this lead to another. Ow! Didn't expect a trap, but I'm okay. Let's take a look down this path. Ah, we found their loot. Or what's supposed to be their loot. There's nothing in here. Hey, you all those adventurers. I... I give up. Please don't hurt me. I promise I won't scream. I don't want to die. Oh, please let me live. Just don't kill me. Are you gonna let me live? Are you? Huh? Huh? Sure, we'll let you live. Just tell us everything we want to know. I'll tell you everything. My boss, Davorn, he's on the fourth level. He's the head honcho. Now, are you gonna let me live? Yes. Now get the hell out of here. An Iron Throne guard told us that we could find Davorn on the fourth floor of the Cloakwood Mine. Okay. And we just opened up a secret passage, it appears. Interesting. Hold on a moment. Sorry about that. Someone um, came in to talk to me about something. And, oh look, a ghast. Oh, ghast is dead. 
So there's undead down this passageway, uh, is there? Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! <laughs> Unusual and unexpected. So is this supposed to just be a way around here? Horatian! Holy crap! I really should have gotten a save in here. Oh god, we're almost dead. You! Uh... Slow poison on him. So, I think it's safe to say that, uh... The lightning spell backfired on him. Well, I didn't see that coming. Okay, Potion of Explosions. Okay, we'll put that in here. Haste. Can you actually cast Haste? You already have it. Okay, fair enough. Ghoul Touch can be sold. Oh boy! All right, all that right. just happened. Fellow. Yeah, go ahead and unlock this I've chest. Done had enough of this. What would you have very well? What you I said want? unlock I've this. Done had enough of this. Your wish Thank you. Well. There was nothing in Hurry there up. anyway. All right, all right. Oh boy. That was a shocking amount of damage in one hit. Because of lightning Hello? bolt. Damn. Well, get out what healing you can here. I am amazed that we actually survived it, truth be told. You, I want you to see if there's another trap here that would have, uh, triggered. I'm just curious. There was! Well, what we dealt with it. You insist? Okay. Another guard, another couple of guards to kill. Just kill him, please. The guards die easily. Locked. I care not. Imwen, if you don't mind. Help us, you there, wait. Tell me I'm right. Aren't you the mercenaries who've been causing the Iron Throne so much trouble? Yes, we are. How did you come by this information? You look to be one of the throne's slaves. Good. My name is Rill, and I'm the de facto leader of the slaves here beneath the Cloakwood. I heard about you because I'm always careful to listen to what the Black Talons talk about. It seems that the Iron Throne has placed a large price on the head of someone named Frederick Lionheart, which would be you, I assume. Enough introductions, we don't have much time. I need a hundred gold. The captain of the Black Talons on the first floor is not known for his loyalty to the throne. If you give me the money, I'm sure I could bribe him to look the other way while I escape with the rest of the slaves. After all, most of the Talons are going to be preoccupied with you. Well, how about it? Here, take the gold you need and get yourself and the others away from here as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. I wish you well, and I hope that you can bring an end to this stinking operation. Of course. Anything to free slaves. Yes, Lick. 
Aye, who's there now? More smithing? Or did ye burrow into another river? Oh, a fine sight ye are you, whoever you are. Sick to death of bandits I am. I have been cooped up for the longest time, but if you've a spare mace, I'll g I'd gladly swing it for your cause. I can do things clerical-wise as well, so I'm mind as well as muscle. By Clan Geddon, I a chance to right past l wrongs. Can I join you? All help is welcome. We've much to overcome. That ye have, and none would know better than I. This is my mind that the blasted Iron Throne is stolen. Well, they were my clan's home 125 years ago. Curse me for a fool, I trusted them. Years ago that br blasted Realtar gave me a good trade smithing for the throne. And then I go and tell him about my old home. About how my clan had the richest iron mine on any coast. And how almost all were killed when we breached a riverbank. Lost most my kin in that flood. Those of us that survived couldn't bear to go back down. It was a giant watery tomb and we left it the way she stood. So I go and tell this to my friend Realtar and he has me chained up. He tortures the location out of me, and now this graveyard feeds the Iron Throne as they bleed the coast dry. If you want to cripple their plans, help me flood this accursed mine once more. They plugged the breach, but knowing hands can loose the flow. We can drown these black-hearted rats in the very mine they've stolen. Here be the way. You need You've been a good friend to me, friends. Bust some heads, will ya? The dwarf, the Yeslik, has told us a great deal about the Cloakwood Mine. He and his clan used to work in the mine, but they dug into an underground river. In the ensuing flood, most of Yeslik's clan died. Yeslik later met the man known as Realtar, an important figure in the Iron Throne. With Yeslik's help, Realtar opened the mine for the Iron Throne. Yeslik tells us that a mage named called Davorn runs the mine from the fourth level. If we were to get a key from him, we could flood the entire mine site. Huh. We seem to be close to the end of this area. Give me a moment to save here, because I want to see what happens if we remove Branwen temporarily. Alright, so if we take what yes. Like, uh let's see. So if we move Branwen for a moment. My temper shield. We have fought well and we have fought bravely. Tempest willing, perhaps I will fight at your side again someday. And Branwyn just stays there. Let me take a look at your level. You use a Warhammer as well. You go right up to level 5. And you are basically a, pra a priest of the same type, I think. Except you're not as high a level. As good as you might be? Actually, what what are you, uh... You're lawful good. As much as I'd like to have you... I'm sorry, but Branwen is mine. I'm still keeping Branwen, interesting as a dwarf may be. That said, we need to do another rest. Before we do, since we have these things here, how about you tell me what these boots are? Boots of Speed. These enchanted boots were once the property of a deadly assassin fond of chasing down his prey. He moved with such speed that his targets often didn't have the opportunity to respond even on horseback. Over time, the assassin's fame spread, and though his name was never known, all knew to fear the words last heard by his victims. You can hide, but you cannot run. Doubles movement rate, which I don't really want to use. You can't use it? Oh no, you're already wearing boots. Yeah, I don't really want to use them just because the end result is going to be someone charging further ahead than I would like. I don't want that. Alright, arrest here. Oh god! And suddenly we're getting killed by all of these guards. Well, oh, gotta reload there. Okay, let's try that again. Once again, and identify. And arrest. 
And once again, the guards all attack us. This time... No, no, Minst is okay. much health here. Okay. My you are going to take all of these arrows because you need them. I mean, you don't need them, but at least you have them. Actually, I can give you a longbow too so that you will have it. Cast any spells you can't. Let's try another rest. There we go. And you used up a spell. Of course. Cast these healing spells on us. So we can all be healed up to full. You can do this. You can get everyone healed. What would you have me do? Right. Once again, let's get another thing identified so that it can be identified. Adventurer's robe. Yep, that's a thing. And now, arrest again. Good. All right. All right, all right. And this seems like the point at which we'd normally stop. So I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll go deeper into the mines, make our way closer and closer to Davorn. That'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44. That is Frederick Lionheart, Ajantis, Bronwyn, Minst, Imowen, and Dinair. This has been a let's play of Baldur's Gate. And I shall see you all.